previous videos, we learned the basics of WordPress theming, and we looked at a few themes to see how they were put together. Now, over the next several videos, we're going to be creating our own theme. Here's what our theme should end up looking like. You may recognize this example from other chapters. It's a very simple blog design, and that's exactly what we want, so that we can put more focus on actually making a WordPress theme. This site also has everything that we're going to need, including a site header with blog posts, a sidebar, and a footer. The HTML and CSS for this site will be included with the code for this video, so be sure to check that out. Well, we have a lot of ground to cover, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is open up a text editor or a file navigator if you prefer, like the Finder. Then go ahead and navigate to your WordPress themes directory, which I've already done here, and go ahead and create a folder for your theme. I'm going to go ahead and call my theme catching the wave, just like the site. Now, you can make your WordPress theme as complicated or as simple as you'd like. However, to start with, we're going to keep this theme to the bare minimum so that you can get started on your own projects more quickly. Next, we're going to go ahead and create some files that we'll need over the next several videos. So first, I'm going to make a file called index.php, and then I'm going to make another file called header.php, and we'll also need footer.php. We're going to need a file called sidebar.php, and the last PHP file will be functions.php. And then we're going to want to make a file called style.css. And I'm just going to go ahead and close all these other ones here. Now, to create a WordPress theme, all you really need is an index file, but we're going to at least get a bit more involved than that. Don't worry about all of these files being blank. We'll be filling them out over the next several videos. For now, just go ahead and open up your style.css file, which I've already done here. This is where we'll be storing all of our CSS. In addition to your site styling, though, this is where a lot of metadata for a WordPress theme is stored. So let's go ahead and add some metadata now. I'm going to create a comment, and then I'm going to type theme name catching the wave. Now, here I've created a CSS comment, and inside I've put the string theme name with a colon, followed by catching the wave, which is what I'm choosing to call my theme. You can call your theme whatever you want, but the name you put here should be reflected in the name of your theme folder over on the right. So, let's go ahead and switch over to our WordPress administration. And if you haven't already done so, go ahead and open up the themes page. And if you're already on the themes page, just go ahead and hit refresh. And if everything went smoothly, there should now be a theme with the title that you made. We can even go ahead and activate this theme if we want. So we'll activate it and we'll go over to our WordPress blog and hit refresh. And of course, this theme has nothing in it, so it's just going to turn up a blank page because all of our files are blank. So also, if you look here, there's actually no preview image for our theme. I'll just go ahead and activate one of these other themes here. And there, there's no preview image. You'll also notice that there's no description, there's no tags, the author is listed as anonymous, and so on. So let's go ahead and fill out a little bit more meta information with some more details. So the theme URI will set to the Carsonified homepage. The description will just say a very simple theme to go along with a video tutorial. This theme is intended for educational purposes. And the author, of course, you'll put your name here. The version is going to be 1.0. 
And you should also add some tags to describe your theme should you decide to submit it. We'll say this theme is blue, it has some white in it, and these do need to be comma separated. We'll add light, we'll say this theme is simple, it's two columns, and it's also a fixed width theme. And finally, you'll probably want to put an author URI if it's not the same as your theme URI. And for mine, I'll just go ahead and put my Twitter account. Of course, there's lots of other meta information that you can add, but we'll keep it at that for now. Now, if you go back to your WordPress administration and hit refresh, you'll now see that we have a version number, an author with a link to the author URI, a description, and some tags down here at the bottom. We still don't have a screenshot yet to go with this, but that will be one of the last things that we do when our theme is finished. Now that we've created all the files we're going to need, we're ready to start filling them in. In the next video, we'll start creating some structure.